So you use the Hero 7, you want some really sick 24 frames a second slow-mo, super slow-mo I call it, and you get this message, have it notice, does it work with quick? It does work with quick, I'm going to show you how, keep watching. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, when the new Black 7 came out, I was over the moon, 240 frames a second, 1080p, I really couldn't wait to get hold of it. And then um, did my first video, looked absolutely amazing, and I couldn't edit the footage. I had a big problem. The I was putting the footage onto my phone, I could view the, 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 the footage on my phone, it, was, it seemed to be working full speed, slow speed seemed to be working fine, put it into quick and it was really really glitchy. It was um, really awkward to use in the timeline, I couldn't trim it properly and it wouldn't play back at normal speed properly. Um, I had big problems. I spoke to quick about this and it wasn't a error with quick, it was um, a problem with the device I was using. I use um, a tablet for editing on, I use my phone for editing on and both of them had the same problem. Now I've figured out a way to get around this, a way that works really really well so I'm going to show you, I'm going to go to the tablet now and show you um, how to basically edit the footage even though it's a HEVEC file. Um, it's dead simple. Have a look at this. So I've got the tablet opened up and um, this is an Android tablet. What I'm going to do is first we're going to add the file that we want to use. I've got a 16 second clip which has been recorded at um, 240 frames a second. Now I'll put that into the timeline and then what we're going to do it's done an automatic edit just there so I'm going to go to trim oh, I'm going to go to trim, I'm going to put it into manual so I get the full length clip. That 16 second clip is now 2 minutes and 12 seconds long and you can see here it's playing in slow motion and it's playing absolutely fine. There's no preview problems here at all. Um, so that's actually working okay. The problem arises when you go to um, trim. I want to maybe take a little bit off the beginning or end. You can see here the video stopped previewing. So let's go back. It previews for a moment and then it stops. Um, this is the problem you have. How are you supposed to trim? How are you supposed to edit this when you have these problems? So I'm trying to find where I want it to where I want it to trim. But the preview keeps stopping. It's an absolute nightmare. Um, let's just stop that. Also, if you want to split the clip, you're thinking, right, I'm going to split this clip down to smaller files. Again, you get a couple of seconds and then it stops. Really, really difficult to do. So it makes it very difficult. Also, another thing you'll come across is if you want to play this clip in full speed, you get exactly the same problem stutter, stutter, stutter. The device cannot read the file information quick enough to work properly. Now quick can edit this but the problem is the, the device itself can't keep up and I think a lot of people are going to have this problem. Um, so the easy way around it, if you want to edit this footage, the way I find works best is go to trim, select manual, which you've done there, OK that, and then um, I think the, the the easiest way is to render out this project. So you want to switch the music off, have no music. Just let that do its thing. And then you're going to render this video out in slow motion if you want to be using the slow motion. So what I mean by that, I set that to slow. I've now got a 2 minute 12 clip and I'm just going to render this video out. So save for 7 days. Let's go back into the clip. You can see here now I'm going to click this blue button. I'm going to share without saving and that is then going to save the project. So so we've done that, so I've saved it now as a slow motion video. We can do the same as well um, in real speed. So if you go back to the project, put it into real speed, so regular speed, the preview is jittery as hell, but it doesn't matter because now I can render it out again. So go back in, save without sharing, that's going to save it to the device 
and now I'm going to have an edit that's at full speed. It's going to edit it absolutely perfect. You're going to have a full se a full speed 16 second clip. I'm then going to have a 2 minute 12 second clip in slow motion. And then you can drag both of these into your quick editor, splice them up, trim, do whatever you need to do. The preview is going to work perfect. You've got a 1080 clip um, at 60 frames a second I'm doing here um, and it's slow motion or you've got a clip that's at full speed. So that's how you can get around using these Hevec files. Um, it takes a little bit of work, you've got to edit the footage out but it works and I've done it many many times and then you can really enjoy that slow motion footage um, here's a little quick clip of some slow motion footage and some fast motion footage all using Hevec files please like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one take care folks, bye Thank you.